So for today, we're going to be looking at week 19, which is crazy. We're going to be looking at Ada and then Eververse. That's pretty much it. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Remember that challenges are over. So the challenges that are, you are looking at right now are the only challenges left. So if you guys want to get the Bright Dust bundle, then you guys are going to have to complete all of these. Because again, after week 10, we stop getting uh, challenges, which is very unfortunate because I would have liked it if they give us more considering we still have like two months before the next expansion comes out, but whatever. So before we actually look at this, we're going to be looking at the fit for the video. And it's literally the same thing as the um, <clears throat> the weekly last call video that we did. I haven't played, so that's why it's still the same look. But I still love this look. Also, remember that I'm making the virtuous set uh, for the classes. So hunters, you're going to you guys are going to go first, then titans and warlocks. I also will be posting the tier list for the iron banner armor, which also reminder iron banner is up this week. So you do have i think we have two more or one more i don't remember off the top of my head but we do have some more iron banner coming so if you don't want to do it this week or you can't don't worry you can always do it next time which i don't even know when's the next time <clears throat> so let's look at uh, the shaders so <laughs> funnily enough it's genotype null zero again uh i love this shader it's just we literally got it last week uh it's really cool a black like it's black well whatever this color is i think that's black but or like a really holographic orange and then a carbon fiber texture which is really cool we have mercury prof prophetic which i don't remember this one hmm not bad it's ne definitely not bad i don't like this color though but other than that it looks pretty decent not gonna lie and then war cult scheme <clears throat> which I love this shader. This is one of my favorite shaders. I don't use it a lot, but it's more of a like when I see it, it's it's the vibrancy of it. I really like this like blue purple and the white plus the black. I just think these colors are just amazing. So I definitely, I'm, you know, I'm going to make a set with this shader soon because I do like this shader quite a bit. As for the armor sets are all right here. Let me know what you guys think about the armor sets. I will go check all the classes so that way I can talk about it. But if I remember correctly, this is the yeah, this is the retrograde stuff, which I really, really like for all the classes. Um, so hunters, the helmet's decent. The arms I've used. I'm not the biggest fan, though. Uh, chest piece, I think, is the best piece. Boots, unfortunately, the bandages at the bottom don't change color. And then the cloak is whatever's. Heightens. <clears throat> the helmet's really cool. I'm going to talk about the helmet specifically in a bit. But the arms are really cool. The chest piece is okay. The boots are too, super cool. I think the mark is whatever's helmet specifically so there is uh an armor set from vanguard called shelter in place that helmet doesn't change color and i think there's one more i just don't remember off the top of my head but if you want to have that helmet and also change the visor then the retro gate uh which is this set right here is the one that you're going to want to get because that one changes everything so that is one thing i always like to mention uh warlocks i think the helmet's decent i think the arms and boots are boring i think the chest piece is cool as hell and then the bond is really boring so let me know what you guys think about 801 i definitely think there's some pieces you should get for armor and the shaders i always recommend because you might you never know when it's going to be super dope so i just pretty much it let's actually look at eververse real quick because there are some things that she's selling that are pretty interesting so raven silk uh which is a cool shader this is also from season of plunder which is like a while ago now which is crazy but i definitely would recommend this shader just because it does look really cool yeah uh carbon blood which definitely you should get if you like black and red that being said it does have a white for the cloth some uh, usually <clears throat> so this is one of those shaders that you're gonna have to finesse into making it look cool because if i'm being quite honest it usually looks really good with plate armor not so much for cloth armor and then pyramid entrance and then the osmondeus for the last man standing shotgun <sighs> looks okay i don't really care for it um i am happy they're finally giving back some of the ornaments from previous seasons though um, because some of them look so cool and then read the map <clears throat> So, 
Let's look at the stuff at the bottom real quick. Uh, desert camo for mitum, um, mitum tool, mitum, mitum motor. Oh my god, I can't remember the gun's name. Uh, mighty, mitum multi tool. There we go. Jesus, uh, out of dodge. Shining cabriolet. Nemean shell. Virulent strides. And roller coaster. <clears throat> Don't worry, Titans and Warlock. We'll look at the armor that, that uh, Ever vs. is selling right now. A bit. Uh, crystalline breakout for the transmat effect. Ghost purple. Fallen arrival. And then Shader's Arable's Glance. Oh, damn. I definitely recommend this Shader because it's one of the best blacks in the game. But if you're like whatever is on it, remember that we are getting super black in the game next week. So, yeah. It's still, still a really good Shader, though. And um, I did make a video on it. I'll have it up right now if I can remember it when I'm editing it. But I did make a video on it. And I explained why the orange is not as bad as people think. Because there's another Shader that goes really well with that orange. Gloom Strife. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not a fan, dog. Uh, Chitlin, Chitlin Slate, Chitlin. Uh, I really need to make a video on this one because I do think this shader is so worth it. But this is a good, great shader if you want to turn off glows or want to harden them because you might not see it. But in this helmet, actually, no, you can see it right here. So these actually have glows right here and they turn them into a solid usually or it turns them off. So that is really cool. And then we have Chrome Stock, which not a fan. So um, <clears throat> let us, I'm going to show you something real quick. So if you guys are wondering which is the armor set that Eververse is selling right now, it's a, re, it's a reselling of the vir, 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 Virulent set for the Hunters, which are really cool. The, which one is this one? The Future Facing set, which is for the Titans. And then for the Warlocks, you guys got the best one, which is the Wraith Trail set. So these are all um, based off of forges, not forges, uh, based off of weapon manufacturers. So this one is um, the Tex Mechanica. This one is um, Vice, and this one is Omelon. <clears throat> so definitely really cool. I definitely would recommend some of these pieces. Hunters, I think, honestly, if I'm being quite honest with you guys, I would just tell you guys to pick it all up. That's funny considering I don't I didn't pick this up because but this is from a different time when uh, we were able to choose uh, what we wanted to get and I at the time I was like I don't want to waste bright dust on this or on the hunt Titan one because the Titan one I actually don't like but yeah let me know what you guys think about Eververse or the or uh, 801 we I mean I talked a lot about this on my last call video but if you haven't seen it I have a lot of content for you guys like a fuck ton again like I said uh, the uh, <clears throat> we are going to be making these sets for this armor set, which if you guys don't know, and I didn't mention it today, but we, uh, this is week two of this armor set. Next week will be the last week. So if you guys want to get the season of Dawn armor set, definitely pick it up. I know it's 15 bucks each, but this is from season of Dawn, which was a long time ago. Like to put it in perspectives. This is the second season we had like f like set. And when I say second season, I specifically mean when they started doing seasons because the first season was <clears throat> because the first season was season of the undying. So it is a long time ago and I definitely would recommend a lot of these pieces. If, if, I'm, if I'm being honest, I would recommend all of it because all of it is really cool, specifically Titans. I think the Titan armor set looks so amazing, but yeah, that is available if you want to get it. There's a there's a things there's a lot of things I'm doing right now. I'm currently working on the uh, what the hell is this armor called? I keep for let me trying to name it. Virtuous set. So I'm doing the virtuous set for all the classes Hunter, Titan, and Warlock. I also have the loadout videos that I'm currently working on for all the classes. I also have the tactical sets that I'm working on. I'm also working on some other fashion stuff as well. That's not even including the backstock of like content that I have that I have written down that I need to make like specifically. Uh, I most likely will just start showcasing armor sets that I have for Final Fantasy 14 and World of Warcraft, maybe. 
and because I want to really branch out to other games with fashion because there's a lot of games of fashion. Warframe is another great example. And we will probably start doing a progression type thing for those games because I am not a veteran for those games. I am very much not a new player, but it's one of those things where I don't have everything that I want. And for Destiny 2, I have a lot of things. I have most of the armor that's in Eververse. I have most of the armor that the game ever so has ever given out. So when it comes to fashion, I'm very much a veteran here. But I want to have more armor for the other games because, again, more options is never a bad thing. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to see me make some certain content, let me know in the comments below. I am currently working on a few things specifically. I would love to start doing, um, start posting my Discord so that way people can start putting their fashion in there i can start doing some other things i really want to start expanding it's just that the two jobs is just really tiring me out and <clears throat> thankfully i have a day off now but yeah i'm gonna start pushing out some other external stuff so that way you guys don't have to interact with me in my youtube you guys can interact with me on my discord or whatever so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later